Hey guys, Jeff here with Martin Survival. So many of you guys know that we had many Native Americans that lived in this Morongo Basin area. We had the three main tribes and that was the Serrano, the Chemehuevi, and the Cahuilla. And recently there's been sparked a lot of questions in how they transferred fire when they traveled to different locations. And actually they traveled quite often. The reasoning for their travel, there was one documented time in history when there was territory issues, but the main reason was to get higher ground to collect different wild edible plants when they wouldn't grow on the low ground. So different seasons of the year, they would travel quite far and they would get that higher ground so they can collect the wild plants. Today I'm going to show you something called touchwood and I gathered a little bit here and this is what they used to transfer fire from one location to the other. So stay with me and let me show you how this works. So what is touchwood? Well, touchwood comes from the bottom of the cottonwood tree when it's dead and down, and this is just a punky material. It acts just like a charcoal, so there's no true gases that release from this wood. Therefore, it doesn't create a flame. It just keeps on embering up, just like a charcoal works. And this has literally no weight whatsoever. It's feather light, so I can carry this in my front pocket, my side pocket, my backpack, and it will not weigh me down whatsoever. So this is an excellent material. Now, how will I get this started? Well, I'm gonna do what the Serrano Indian tribe did, and that's using the hand drill. So I'm gonna use this piece of aspen and this piece of mule fat, also known as seep willow, create an ember, and I'll ignite this piece of touchwood. Let me show you. Okay, so I had to move location here. I had to get in between these three juniper trees beside me and uh, shield me from the wind. The breeze started kicking up and uh, I don't want my ember to be blowing all over the place. So here we have our touch wood. I'm just gonna set this to the side and that's just like my tinder bundle. And then we have our fire catch or our ember catch, piece of cardboard, our spindle and our hearth. So I'm gonna get set up here and uh, pick a hole that looks about good. And I'm going to shoot for an ember. Now I spit on my hands because it adds extra grip. Some people don't, and that's just fine. It just helps me out a little bit more. Because the key to the hand drill is speed and downward pressure. If you have the speed and the downward pressure, you have an ember. getting some smoke okay we have our ember and I want to shield this from the wind because breeze is starting to kick up and that's okay so I'm just gonna let it smolder a little bit and uh, now is the careful part I want to take my ember and dump it right on top of my touch wood Just like that. Okay. 
and I'm slowly blowing just like the tinder bundle all right so we got it ignited You can see that smoking. And you can see this, you see how it's just smoldering, just like the ember. It will never catch on fire and it'll always hold this ember nice and strong and this little bit of a breeze is helping me out now with the hand drill the breeze does not help you it'll just blow your ember all over the place So as you guys can see, this is still smoldering nice and hot, and this is the exact reason why I like Touchwood so much. When I first got this going, this little piece would last me anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour of total burn time. So if I have to travel from one location to another, like the Serrano, the Chemawavy, and the Cahuilla did, this would give me enough time to get a nice roaring fire going so I can cook food, disinfect water, and stay warm. So this is some good stuff here, guys. Well, that's just about gonna wrap things up for me. Once again, I appreciate you joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with Martin Survival. We'll see you in the next one.